Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And uh, I figured today I will go ahead and do an empties video. And as you can tell, we have a ton of it. Shameless photo op there for screenshots or whatever. <laughs> Anyways, I've had all of this stuff piling up around my house since before I gave birth. So this is going on like two or three months worth of empties that are just piling up because I just never got around to filming an empties video, but I was never throwing anything away. So if you like empties videos that has a lot to do with hair care and body wash, this is gonna be a great video for you because I've just got a ton of it here. So let's go ahead and get on into it. So first thing I wanna go ahead and talk about since it's right here in front of me and we can just knock it out is Tampax Pearl. If you are looking to try tampons for the first time, I highly recommend Tampax. I've been using them since I was 16 or 17, whenever it was I started using tampons. These are the ones I went to first. They apply really nicely. They work really well. I've never, hardly ever had any problems with leaking with them. I highly recommend them. Now, one thing I don't recommend is the CVS brand of the Tampax Pearl. They claim to be like Playtex. They're not. They're not at all like Playtex. They do not absorb very well. I've had nothing but issues using these. Um, I don't recommend them. I feel like I have to change them twice as often. So I just thought since I have both of these here, I would go ahead and do a little bit of a comparison there for you guys in case anybody was wondering. Um, yeah, these are a little bit cheaper, but these ones work a lot better. So in this Thing, I would definitely suggest to save your money and go for the Tampax Pearl, the actual legit brand, not the off brand for CVS. Next thing here, I just finished up, and I believe I talked about this in my last empties video. It's the Salon Selectives Leave-In, or not Leave-In Conditioner. It's just a regular conditioner you wash out of your hair. This one is for smooth and straight. Again, like I mentioned in the last one, um, because I have, I had so many of these conditioners, I just really stocked up on them, and they all do different things. Honestly, I'm not so sure how well they do at doing those particular things, but it smells good, and at least my hair feeling soft, so I really do enjoy it, and I would definitely buy it again. I got this at Big Lots. After that, we have the Suave Naturals Daily Clarifying Shampoo. I'll give you guys a decent look at that. Now, this I surprisingly really liked, and Suave shampoos are not that expensive at all, but this Daily Clarifying Shampoo worked really well well I don't remember the name of the brand but I had a clarifying shampoo that I, my mom actually got me at her salon I think she said it was like 20 some dollars it was a much smaller bottle than this it worked really well but it was expensive this works exactly like that high-end shampoo did it smells really good I like it and it really just cleans my hair leaves it feeling squeaky clean gets all the oils out all the buildup out of my hair I would definitely recommend this for the price you can't beat it I these are only a couple of bucks I think you can get them pretty much everywhere and the fact that it competes with the salon professional, not salon professional, like the high-end expensive type. Because the bottle my mom got me was, it was a really small bottle. Like, I don't have anything in here to compare it to, but it was, it was probably like that big and it was a little round bottle. Worked really well, but this works exactly the same. And it's, it's pennies on the dollar, so much cheaper. So if you're looking for a good clarifying shampoo that's not going to break your bank, go check out the Suave Daily Clarifying because it works really well. Okay, so next up I have... The Bath & Body Works Pearberry. I know they brought this back last year for the semi-annual sale last summer. I bought the whole set. I got the body wash, the body spray, and the lotion. I used them all up. I really liked it. Loved the scent. Would highly recommend it. Honestly, not sure if they still have it in stores or not. I know a few of the things they brought back for the whole flashback um, semi-annual sale they did last year. I know they kept some of them in store. I don't know if Pearberry was one of them, but my goodness, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. I love Perry, so I will link it down below if I can find it, um, but I would definitely recommend checking it out if you're looking for a new scent to try. While we're talking about Bath & Body Works stuff, I did finish up a Country Apple Body Splash, and I believe this is the older style. It's one of them I got off of Yertle, but I think they might have brought this back last year as well. It smelled really good. I really liked it. I know they have, um, oh, this is Country Apple, but I had an Apple one in the store that I've seen recently. It may have been Country Apple. They may, this might have been one they decided to keep in stores. It smelled really good. I really liked it. But I don't care for it as a body spray on my person. It's just, it's for me, it's not right. I like it and, like, it doesn't play badly with my um, body chemistry. It's nothing like that. I just, it's so apple scented 
that it feels weird smelling like an apple, if that makes any sense. So, I didn't use this as a body spray, but I did use it as a bed spray. I love sp spraying my bedroom with it and spraying my bed sheets with it and just made my room smell like apples, which I really liked and my husband really liked, so it worked out. So next thing here, I have a bottle of shampoo, bottles weather squished. It's from White Rain, and it is their Energizing Citrus. It's got some fuzz right there. Hope you enjoy the shot of that. <laughs> but it smelled really good. Um, pretty pink color, if, you know, that matters to you what color your shampoos and stuff are. doesn't really matter to me, but, you know, when it's a pretty color, I can appreciate it. But it's the White Rain Citrus Shampoo. It smelled really good. I really did enjoy it. It just smells fruity. It's kind of hard to, like, place it, but I would definitely recommend it. It worked well. It cleaned my hair. So next up is the Suave Professionals. I used up their smoothing conditioner and the keratin infused leave-in conditioner. They both smell really good. I found the shampoo in my bathroom when I was looking for some conditioner the other day after I'd used this up. I'm not sure why the whole set didn't end up in the shower. Well, this wouldn't be in the shower, but I don't know why the conditioner and shampoo didn't end up in the shower together for whatever reason. It didn't, but the conditioner worked well. I mean, it left my hair soft. I liked it. I liked the smell of it. I really like this and how well it worked. It definitely left my hair feeling soft for a long period of time. I would definitely rebuy these, so go check them out if you're interested. Okay, this body lotion I love. I know I raved about it a couple of times during my pregnancy. It's the Jergens Ultra Healing Extra Dry Skin Moisturizer. I would highly recommend this stuff if you have dry skin or if you are pregnant. Um, I did end up getting some stretch marks from my pregnancy, but I didn't get nearly as many as I expected. I just got a few at the very bottom of my belly, but they're really not that bad. Um, they're short, they're very red, but they're short, they're small, I don't have a ton of them. And I attribute a lot of that to Jergens because um, if you've watched some of, some of my other videos when I'm talking about this stuff, you know that I can sneeze and get a stretch mark. I get stretch marks like nobody's business. But during my pregnancy, I didn't get that many, and I really expected to have them all over my stomach, and it didn't happen. And I think it's because of this lotion. I used it every single day, and again, hardly got any stretch marks. It kept me feeling really moisturized, and I don't know. I don't have enough good things to say about this, so I definitely recommend checking this out. This next one here is a Pantene Detangler. I hadn't used detanglers since I was a kid, but I found this in my bathroom. I think it was my husband since before we moved in together. Um, but it worked really well, and I forgot how awesome detanglers are. So I went out to try to repurchase this, and I couldn't find it in the store. So I bought a child's detangler, which works well, but I honestly like this better. It smells really good, and it made brushing my hair so much easier, which I have really thick hair, and the ends tend to get really dry, and since they get really dry, they tend to get really tangled. But using a leave-in not leaving the conditioner. Using a detangler made brushing my hair after the showers and in the morning, like any time I went to brush my hair, I used this stuff. And it made it so much easier. So I would definitely recommend getting this um, if you have a hard time brushing your hair. This next one here is from Pantene also. It's a curly hairstyle mousse. I didn't use it a whole lot, but my husband is the one who used it because he likes to use mousse for his hair. He's got like shaved sides and then like all this right here is really long and he likes to style it with mousse and kind of hawk it up and it works really well for him. I like the way it smells. It definitely wasn't like demasculating or anything on him. It smelled good and it, it worked really well. It held his hair well um, in the style that he puts it in the whole like updo thing that he does with his hair. It worked really well. So I definitely recommend it, especially if you're a guy and you need some mousse for your hair. It, it works good. Next here is some shaving cream. I'm pretty sure I've talked about this stuff before. It is the Pure Silk Raspberry Mist moisturizing shaving cream. They do have other scents in this, but I always buy the raspberry because you can buy it in a two-pack at most stores for like the same price as one container of the other scents. So I would love to try the other smells, but I just can't bring myself to spend like $3.98 for one when I can spend that and get two. It just doesn't make any sense, especially when it's shaving cream. I know it's going to work regardless, so I just continue to buy the raspberry mist. Nothing wrong with it. Just getting kind of sick of the smell, but again, you know, it's shaving cream. Why spend the extra money when I can get two for the same price? So this one here is from Airwick, and it is a air freshener. Um, it's called Two in One. It's supposed to eliminate odors and freshen the air. For anyone who's been on my channel for a while, you know that I love wax melt. I love air fresheners, anything like that. Like I'm paranoid about my house smelling funky, so I'm always like spraying something or using a wax melt or something like that. Um, so this was lavender and chamomile. 
honestly wasn't a biggest fan. I mean, it worked, but I'm not the biggest fan of the smell of lavender. So I think I have one more of these cans. I think it was a two pack. Um, you may ask, well, if you don't like lavender, why'd you buy it? I didn't. Uh, it was my grandmother's and it was in the house when we moved in. Um, side note, we inherited the house. So we got everything that was in here that was hers. I guess she liked lavender because I found several lavenders and things that she had for like air fresheners. I'm not the biggest fan of this one in particular, but for an air freshener, it did its job. I just wouldn't like spray my whole house. I just kept it in the bathroom. So next one here is from Bodycology and it is called Scarlet Kiss. It's a foaming body wash. This I got from Walmart. It smelled really good. It definitely had a very sexy, sensual smell. I really enjoyed it. Can't say it really foamed. I mean, I don't know. It it bubbled up well when you rub it together like it did what normal soap does. But what it says, foaming body wash. Like it sounds like it do something neat. And it just was body wash. I don't know. But it smelled really good. I really like the way it smelled. And it definitely lingered on your skin. I think Coffee Break with Danny, I think she talks about one of these from Body Ecology. I could be wrong. But anyways, it smelled really good. It smelled really sensual. I really enjoyed it. So from here, we have my deodorant that I've been using, which I've been using this since high school. I did a whole like, little funny story insert last time I talked about this deodorant. I can link that down below if you want to go check out that little story from my last empties when I talked about this. Anyways, it's just the Secret Outlast deodorant. It's gel. I prefer it. I've never had any issues with it. It doesn't leave any white residue on my clothes. It lasts a long time. I just, it's my favorite. I always go back to it. I always buy it. I don't buy scented or like this. I don't know. It has a light scent to it, but I guess it's more like a powdery, more like a, I guess a powdery smell, but not really baby powder. It just says completely clean, clean scent, I guess is what I should say. It just has a clean smell to it. Um, and it works really well. I highly recommend that deodorant. Again, been using it for years since high school, possibly middle school. I don't change my deodorant. You know when it works? Don't change it. Uh, this is the Dove Go Fresh Therapy Conditioner in Peach. Again, this is one that my grandmother had when we moved in. I really like the Dove conditioners. They leave your hair so soft. I am in love with the Dove conditioners. We'll definitely repurchase this. It smells really good. I definitely recommend it. This next one here isn't empty per se, but I got two samples of it from my Vox box. And it is the um, beautiful... Oh, it's from... It's beautiful volume from Tresemme. Essentially, it's their new shampoo and conditioner. And what it is, is that you condition your hair first and then you shampoo it. And I was thinking about doing a review on this um, on my channel. I don't know if I will or not. I might just go ahead and tell you all the details here. But essentially, what it is, you condition your hair first. You leave it in for a couple of minutes. Let me see what the back says on the conditioner. Okay, so this is called a pre-wash conditioner. The back of this says, using conditioner after your shampoo can weigh down, can weigh your hair down. That's why Tresemme Beautiful Volume Regime starts with a pre-wash conditioner instead. Use it before washing with the shampoo and your hair will feel soft and silky. So it says, to be used before shampoo, um, distribute evenly throughout wet hair, leave on for one minute, rinse thoroughly. And that's exactly what I did with the conditioner. I really worked it from really worked it from the bottoms of my hair down, like about midway down. Then it got a little bit here in the tops of my hair. I let it set for a minute. I went ahead and washed my face and washed my body. And then after that, I rinsed out the shampoo, the shampoo, the conditioner. Um, surprisingly, it distributed really well. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but I know I've had some conditioners that if you haven't shampooed your hair first, then it just doesn't really distribute through your hair very well. This distributed really, really well. Had no issues with it. Smelled really good. Love the way Trust Me smells. Like any Trust Me product smells amazing. But the conditioner going through first worked really well. Then I shampooed like normal and did my leave-in conditioner after I got out of the shower. And it just, I was impressed with how moisturized my hair felt and my hair felt thicker. It, it really did. It felt really clean but it felt really thick and it felt like it was holding a lot of moisture in which was an interesting feeling. I liked it. It felt really, really um, healthy, but it was just held in a lot of moisture, which was really surprising, but I really liked it. And I would definitely be interested in buying the full size of the shampoo and conditioner. So, on to other things. I have the sample size of the Disney shampoo and conditioner that you have in like your Disney hotel room. My mother and father-in-law went on vacation, I think, last year, and they brought us back the samples of it. It smelled really good. It's an H2O um, shampoo and conditioner. 
and it's in blushing orange. It smelled really good. Left my hair smelling really good. I quite enjoyed it. I think it's cute. It has like little Mickey ears on top. Ignore the dust. Like I said, it's been sitting around for like the past three months um, waiting for me to film it. But if you are taking a trip to Disney, stock up on some of these if you get the chance because they smell really good and I think they work really well too. We're getting down to the, to the bottom of the barrel, guys. I promise. Only a few things left. So... We have the Hemp's Triple Moisture Warm Vanilla in Cashmere Body Lotion. This is a sample size. I always use sample sizes. Like I keep them by my sink and I keep them like by my kitchen sink. And I keep them on my vanity to use after I've done my makeup because my hands just feel dry in either situation. This one I used up most recently. I think any Hemp's product, Hemp's lotions, I just, I love them. I've got a couple more of these to go. I definitely use them diligently. They smell amazing. This one smelled freaking awesome. But it smells so good. You can definitely smell the cashmere that's in there. Um, and I love the little leaf on there. I mean, I know it's a pot leaf, but I like the red. It's like, not a metallic, but it's just a really pretty red color. And I really enjoy this product. If you're looking for a good lotion that has a light smell, but it's a good smell, definitely check this out. Here is a Petra Lamas Naturals Exfoliating Pumpkin Facial Scrub. I love anything from this. I love the packaging. It's always adorably cute. Always has pretty lettering and a pretty color on it. The packaging is normally about the same. I've gotten several samples of these from Ipsy, which I'm no longer to subscribe to. But when I was subscribed to Ipsy, I got several of these. I got like a rose petal one. This one's pumpkin. Um, I think there's a couple others. I'm currently using one that's an orange in my bathroom. Uh, where else would I be using it? <laughs> but I love these facial washes. If you're looking for a good facial wash brand, I would definitely check them out. I have not been disappointed with any of them that I've tried. My ro The rose one was probably my favorite, followed by this as a, as a close second, but definitely a good facial wash if you're looking for something new to try. So I've got about five different wax melts here to talk about, and then we're on to makeup, which there's not a lot here for makeup. So first one here is from Better Homes and Gardens. As I said, as I have said in my other videos, I get most of these from Walmart. A lot of times you get them on sale for like 99 cents or something like that. This one is Wildberry Cheesecake. I like the way this one smells. <laughs> um, definitely enjoyed it. It definitely had more of a fruity smell than a cheesecake smell. It made my house smell really good. It was definitely one of those long-lasting kind of smells. It just kind of stink up the whole place, which I appreciate and I like. So if you like a strong scented wax melt that's going to last you a few days at a time, that's definitely one worth checking out. This next one here my mom gave me for Christmas last year. It is from Raven Lake and the, sn the smell is sweet snow. I did like it. It was much of a clean smell so it just made my house smell very clean. Um, I don't recall it being a very long lasting one so I had to use one every couple of days which isn't a problem but I liked it. I would definitely, definitely suggest this if you like a nice crisp clean smell for your whole, whole house. Next one here is from Walmart and it is Vanilla Bean. Um, I liked it, but it was definitely a lighter smell, so if you have a smaller area, like if you're doing it in your bathroom or your bedroom, I would definitely have, definitely recommend this, but if you're trying to make your whole house smell like vanilla, this probably isn't going to do it for you because it's a very light smell. It's not going to last long, but it is a good smell. I definitely enjoyed it, so if you like a stronger smell, I would say use it in a more secluded area, like a room that can be shut off, so it just like smells up the whole room by itself, but I wouldn't recommend it for smelling up your whole house. So we have two more here, both are, as I said, from Walmart. Um, I have cupcakes and uh, banana nut bread. That's what those look like here. Um, I don't recall the banana nut bread being very very strongly scented. It smelled really good, but again, it's definitely one of those you want to use in a smaller room unless you just like a light scent for your house and you don't want something like overpowering or super strong. Same thing for the cupcakes, really good smell, but very mild. It's not going to make your whole house smell like cupcakes. It's just going to make that particular room smell like cupcakes. So, on to makeup. We have six things here to talk about. We're going to knock them out really quickly. So, right here we have two mascaras. This one is Great Lash from Maybelline. It is a waterproof mascara. I remember this mascara being like the shit when it first came out. I think I was in like fifth or sixth grade. Uh, kind of disappointed in it. This was my first tube. I won't be repurchasing. The only good thing I have to say about it is that it is waterproof, so it definitely did a good job of being waterproof. Um, I like to layer this on top of other mascaras that I would wear that would give me more lift and more volume to my lashes. 
Um, and then I would just coat this on top for the waterproof benefits, but by itself, I can't say it did a whole lot. This next one here is from NYC. It is the Sky Rise Mascara. I love this stuff. I think it does a really good job of making your lashes look a lot longer. It doesn't do a whole lot for thickening, but does a lot for length. Um, this is like my second or third tube. We'll definitely be repurchasing. So here we have two chapsticks. <coughs> we just have your basic cherry chapstick. And then this one is from Avon. It was an Easter type chapstick. Let me see. And it was a grape chapstick. Um, very purple, but it wasn't purple when like you put it on your lips. Uh, both very moisturizing. It's got cute little packaging with like little eggs on it. How well you can see all that. Um, I thought it was adorable. But they both worked really well for what they are. They did the job. They kept my lips moisturized. You know, I'd recommend them. So then we have another one of these deep puffers. I think I had these in a favorites video not too long ago. You can pick these up at the Dollar Tree. They're from Skin Nutrition New York. It's an age-defying dark circle and puffiness treatment. I like to put this on in the morning after I wake up because it's very cooling and it does a lot to just depuff my eyes. So definitely recommend this. This is like, I think this is my second tube, but one of these lasts me almost a year because it doesn't take a whole lot under your eyes and it just lasts forever. So they're like a dollar, you can't beat it. They work really well and they last a long time. So I would highly recommend it. Pick them up at Dollar Tree. Last thing here, you guys have all seen in favorites and in empties. It is my Holy Grail face primer. It is the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. Um, I'm going to recant my statement because this isn't the one I was thinking of. The one I was thinking of does um, color correcting and it is in green. I bought this one on accident. You guys may have seen it in my last favorites or such. They look like the exact same thing except this one is for blemish control. The other one is the exact same packaging but it says for um, color correcting I believe. That other one I like a hundred times better. It is just amazing. It is a silicone base. It's very suit, like very silky going on the skin. Like you just want to touch your face all day. Does a lot for filling in any pores. Does a lot for color for fixing the redness, any kind of natural redness you have in your face. This guy, um, I'm not sure what he is base. What his base is? Salicylic acid of two, of two percent. Honestly, now that I'm reading the back of this. Yeah, it says it's a face primer, but the back of this says it's a medication to cleanse your face before applying. Um, it worked well enough. I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily repurchase it. I don't have a lot of issues with blemishes. I have more issues with redness in my skin. But I, if I had to venture to say, I would say it was probably a water-based primer. It felt like putting lotion on my skin, exactly what it felt like. It, it sunk into my skin, and I didn't feel like it really did much else than that. I mean, it did okay, but it, I wouldn't go out and repurchase it, but there is that. So, that sums up everything for my empties. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. She likes it when you do that. Oh my god, he's gonna do it! <laughs>